we are seeing some heavy to moderate areas of snowfall currently coming down and it's the evening drive. A lot of people are out on the roads. If we can just keep those as clear as possible with any traffic that doesn't have to be out, we want to give them plenty of space. I mean, this country right now is a tale of two different stories. Look at the West. 20s for Denver, 30s for Salt Lake, 20s for Jackson. But then we look into the Southeast. It's 82 in Dallas, 83 in Miami, mid 60s for New York City. So many people dealing with spring conditions. We are certainly dealing with more winter light conditions. Visibility down to a mile for Salt Lake, mile and a quarter for Ogden, about half a mile for Logan. So that's very concerning. So areas of low visibility, some gusty conditions, but we're really going to be tracking some tough areas tonight. Another wave of energy is moving through northern Utah this evening. And we have some lake effect in the forecast. Let's go ahead and chat about what's happening right now out on the roads. Some areas of heavy snowfall, Stansbury Park, I-80, out towards the airport here in Salt Lake. As we're just looking, that camera view is right here at Parley's Canyon, not far up from the mouth. Areas of moderate to heavy snowfall east side of the Salt Lake Valley, I-215. Downtown, we've got some flurries currently coming down winter driving conditions a little further north on and off winter driving conditions all the way from Layton up through Corinne through Plymouth and then some low visibility up towards Sardine and Logan. So what we're going to be watching for you tonight will be areas of lake effect setting up because we have a wide range of potential totals depending on that lake effect snow. So here's what we can expect over the next couple of hours for Salt Lake, Ogden and for Provo. All of us following a similar trend scattered to numerous areas of snow showers through the evening drive, but the areas that get it are really going to get it. Okay, so we're going to have winter driving conditions. Then we'll see a little bit of a lull by about nine o'clock and then by 10 p.m. things get going again and we're going to see a peak likely around midnight or 1 a.m. Chances on and off through tomorrow morning and then by lunchtime tomorrow, we likely become more isolated or unlikely and our storm is going to be at the tail end of it. OK, so we look at the next couple of hours. We continue with some scattered snow chances. Once our sun starts to set, things are going to deteriorate again like they did last night. Overpasses, bridges, those are areas that are going to get icy quickly. By tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., we'll still have some chances for snow, especially downwind from the Great Salt Lake. Then we've got the chance for potentially things get going again tomorrow afternoon. And then the storm is going to be exiting. OK, so more hit or miss tomorrow throughout the day, but clearing heading into Wednesday evening. Temperatures Wednesday at 7 a.m. Teens and 20s here across Utah for the Wasatch Front tomorrow. Some chances for snow mainly early in the day, but again, possible a little more scattered though. Second half of the day, it's like roads in the morning. We could see again areas with lake effect snow getting some very heavy bands that are really going to snarl up traffic as the storm continues off to our east. We're going to continue some northwest flow throughout the day on Wednesday and then we're going to have high pressure building and so that's going to block some storms from forming. We're going to have this some nice weather heading into Easter weekend and for St. George 52 tomorrow by Thursday 66. And then you're going to have mid 80s starting on Easter through Monday and Tuesday next week. For the Wasatch Front, we've got some areas of snow possible tomorrow morning scattered throughout the day. Wednesday 45, 50s on Friday and Saturday, 60s on Sunday, close to 70 degrees by Monday and Tuesday. So Easter's looking really good, mostly sunny 66.